Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Cosmos, welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, my friends, we are going to be looking at the possibility of a super easter egg in Infinite Warfare Zombies. So, I don't want you guys to have any Vietnam flashbacks of um, Black Ops 3 Zombies, because this is a lot different, and I'm going to be going through some evidence why this is going to be happening, and this evidence actually came from the director of Zombies, so Lee Ross, basically the Jason Blundell of Infinite Warfare Zombies, the hint actually came from him. So that if that's not a proof I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, dude, I don't know. But anyway, we're going to get into this video right now. If you do, go on to enjoy, leave it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe as well. But anyway, let's go. So, Infinity Ward did a live stream yesterday, and this live stream was called Tips, Tricks, and Secrets to Zombies in Space Land, something like that. And it was hosted by Lee Ross and these two other guys, uh, well, a guy and a girl, actually. But um, they were playing some Zombies in Space Land with Lee Ross, and... Um, he basically was just giving you some tips and tricks for the map. Seems though the map's been out, we know how to do most things. But the thing about this is he actually hinted a big, big secret. Whether this is a super easter egg, whether it's just like another second easter egg in um, Zombies in Spaceland. But I'm not sure guys, no, again, no Vietnam flashbacks on Black Ops 3. I swear to god this is different because, yeah, Lee Ross said it himself. So we're going to go through this thing right here. And Lee Ross went into the Pack-a-Punch room. He go went over to Pack-a-Punch's gun. And then uh, I'm just going to play the clip for you guys right now. And this is what he said about the Pack-a-Punch room and about that little ritual thing that was on the ground. Oh. I got chance. Uh, I think L1 puts those on. Right. So if people haven't paid close attention, they should pay close attention to what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> this is well, this is tied this to is a why. very big oh Easter egg. Oh pay my god! Pay close attention to I these symbols on the ground. Screen. His screen's more interesting than our screen. And notice we don't let you stay in here forever, but pay close attention to this room. And pay close attention to everything that's in there. So when Lee Ross went into that Pack-a-Punch room, he was telling us to pay close attention to that little ritual table. So I have a little theory that I am going to share with you guys. And basically, he's really pointing this out. He's turning around the goddamn table saying, pay close attention to this. But yeah, anyway, um, this is my opinion. So... As we see there, there is a few little different shapes around the outside and there's something in the middle. If you guys do not know already, in the intro cutscene, Willard Wyler went over to it and he did some sacrificial thing with the pictures of the guys there. So yeah, anyway, what I'm thinking guys is maybe um, in the middle you're going to put in like the summoning key. And uh, it's going to be something like the Treyarch and uh, like... The, what is, I don't even know what it's called. I'm just going to call it the summoning key of IW zombies, but it's called the soul key. That's it. But I think that we're going to put in the soul key into the middle of that little ritual circle and all these collectibles from the other maps that we get. So we're going to get another four maps and um, most likely DLC 5 confirmed. No, um... We're going to probably get uh, about four maps, and with those four maps, at the end of each Easter egg, we're going to pick up this item. And once we picked up all four of the items, I think we're going to place them around that little table, and we're going to get some kind of cutscene. Some kind of something happened to us, I'm not sure, but that is my opinion, because it just looks really, really creepy, and it's just something like the... Summoning key from um, Black Ops 3 Zombies, where they had the summoning key and you also had the gate worms. But yeah, that didn't really do much in Black Ops 3 Zombies, unfortunately. But this is looking really, really promising. If they do this, that is a step above Treyarch Zombies right there. That is what they should have done. But yeah, that's just a quick video. I just wanted to share with you guys this little possibility that might be happening. I don't know. But I hope you guys did go on to enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed yet, go on to do that right now. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.